This is a video response to East Coast Prepper. He's got a uh, contest going on and this is my entry to the contest. So good luck to everybody and uh, let's get the show rolling. All right. Gorilla Geek going 10-8. When the shit hits the fan or, or if there's a natural disaster, civil disturbance, or some other big incident that, that will kind of attract attention, the first responders and the authorities, they're going to mobilize to uh, take care of business. And it's pretty much get, getting all these different disciplines together to work as a team. Uh, firefighters from one county to state police and uh, the armed services, the National Guard, uh, they all will follow this one command structure that they will all fall under to take care of business. Uh, and this little field guide here from Homeland Security, it's a, it's a uh, field guide to setting up communications for those incident command uh, structures out there. So the comm unit leader and the comm techs out in the field will use this guide here to kind of uh, know what the frequencies are and stuff like that. And this comes free from the, uh, f uh, what you call it, National Homeland Security. God, I hate that name, Homeland Security. But anyway, uh, it's a good little guide. As you can see, it's, it's a small uh, little, little booklet here. It's got a rulers and stuff in the back. And if you belong to a search and rescue team or a volunteer fire department or something like that to that effect, you could probably send them an email to see if they could get you a, a box of these uh, for free. Uh, another alternative is to actually go to the website and download this in the PDF form and you'll get the up-to-date uh, uh, copies of this. So let me show you what's included in this particular guide. And I use this constantly for, for just reference. This is a great communications reference booklet. So if something were to happen in your area and you need to know what frequencies to tune into to kind of listen to what's going on to get that raw data out of the field, uh, more than likely they'll probably use some frequencies out of this booklet here, uh, especially uh, national uh, interoperability channels. You see, there are some towns and, and cities and, and counties that, that some of their first responders, they just use all sorts of types of dissimilar uh, radio systems. So they need to kind of like get together and, 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 and agree to use one particular uh, standard so they can all talk to each other so that, you know, they won't have a 9-11 incident back in, uh, uh, in New York. So let me show you real quickly what's in this booklet here. And I got them all labeled out here. Here you got a, a quick and dirty uh, synopsis of the FCC rules pertaining to emergency communications and uh, civil defense communications and all sorts of stuff like that. So just, just a little snap from, from the uh, rule book itself so you'll know not to uh, break the law and stuff like that. Then you go into actual frequencies that, that all these uh, agencies could use with with each other to talk to and you could program this into your scanner and start scanning all of them and, and to find out what's going on there's your uh, VTAC channels and it's all VHF and this is for non-federal VHF national interoperability channels it's a big section of, of, uh, of frequencies uh, from UHF, VHF uh, military, you name it, that, that's uh, allotted to the first responders out there so they could be on the same page when it comes to uh, communications. Here you have uh, a quick references to all the uh, weather channels for the all hazards broadcast. So those are fre good frequencies to have in your scanner and stuff like that. And it's annotated here. Uh, over here you have how to use satellite data uh, no, excuse me, satellite phone dialing instructions. So if you have one of those uh, satellite phones or iMerset phones, it'll tell you a, a quick cheat sheet on how to use them and, and what to dial and stuff like that. Here's some more iMerset uh, codes that you can use. Uh, I don't deal with that, so I'm not too familiar with that at all. This is the part that I think will be uh, really valuable to, to everybody out there. And this here is text messaging. 
So let's like in, in the LA area, uh, sometimes I go down there to work and stuff, but my family is about three, 400 miles away. So if there's an earthquake that hits that area, the phone, the cell phones are going to be bombarded and ain't no way I'm going to be able to uh, call home to say, Hey, I think I'm going to get stuck here. So what I could do is, is, uh, if I could find a terminal, uh, uh, email terminal or, or internet anywhere because usually that would still be up and running still I could just go real quick and try to uh, email my my wife uh, text message her through the email so let's say I'm at at and t I'm using at and t so I will dial her cell phone at mobile.att.net then after that I would I would write the the uh, the uh, message, a text message, uh, saying I'm okay, I'm going home, uh, and I would send it over and, and transmit it over to your uh, cell phone now, where your wife might be having it. So, and they have all the services, all the bells, uh, AT and T, Bell Canada, Metro PCS, you name it. So I got my uh, GPS here, so I could transmit that particular code over over the APRS system. And this is what I would use. I'm not going to mess around trying to look for a terminal. I know there's not going to be one near me. So, and uh, that would link up to a, a receiver out there that will pump it into the internet. So within my truck going out a VHF channel, I can just send. And pretty soon my phone, my wife's phone is going to go off. Here you go. I got a test message. And the shit hit the fan message is plan ECP. That's right. Here's a line of sight formula for visual line of sight and radio line of sight so you could somewhat uh, determine how far your range is going to be with for a given uh, uh, radio. Over here is all your VHF marine channels, your marine radios on boats and stuff, what all the channels uh, are designated to, like channel 16 is the distress safety and calling channel. Here's a quick reference on what the Muir's uh, radio system frequencies are. You only get five of them, and here they are, and they show you uh, pretty much a little snap of, of what's the requirement. Maximum power, two watts, uh, the frequencies, and, and, and all sorts of other stuff, and no license required. So this is pretty much designed for the uh, uh, civilians out there that they could use. Here you have uh, GMRS frequencies that you could use and, and sort of a, a quick cheat sheet on how to use it. FRS frequencies, then you have your CB frequencies too, all in one little uh, reference here. What you have here is uh, search and rescue frequencies. So you could plug this into your uh, scanner and, and if there's a search or rescue going on around your area, you could kind of listen in on what's going on. So that's pretty much it for uh, so with the information that's uh, included in this booklet here, I could scan some of the channels out there that uh, a lot of the first responders will use if it's a big enough incident like a riot, terrorist attack or whatever. Or, and also there's some other references here like the uh, text messaging feature. I could uh, use some of that information for my benefit.